Introduction to Animal Husbandry Thirteen thousand years ago, the world entered the Neolithic Revolution, otherwise called as Agricultural Revolution. The Neolithic Revolution transformed the human civilization from hunter-gatherers to settlers, with agricultural development on a larger scale. During this period, animal domestication began, wherein cattle, goats, sheep, and pigs were domesticated on a smaller scale. However, during the 18th century, animal domestication increased rapidly due to an increase in the population. Thus, animal rearing reached the next level in terms of yielding more dairy products, meat, wool, etc. Animal rearing for their products is simply denoted as animal husbandry. In scientific terms, animal husbandry is denoted as care and management of animals. This involves selective breeding and livestock, raising to improve the behavior and genetic qualities of animals for increasing profit. In this lesson, we will discuss the types of animal husbandry and the importance of animal husbandry in human welfare. Animal husbandry Most of the world population depend on agricultural produce for their nutritional requirements. It includes rice, maize, grains, etc. However, an increase in the population has led to the demand for milk, eggs, and meat. To meet the growing demands, more and more animals are being bred commercially. Therefore, they require a lot of attention and care. Animal husbandry implicates the management of animals and breeding for large-scale businesses. Animal husbandry can be classified into four types, namely, dairy, poultry, fish, and bee farming. Let us discuss them one by one. Dairy farming involves methods for obtaining dairy products, such as milk, cheese, curd, butter, yogurt, cream, etc., involving animals, such as cows, buffaloes, goats, sheep, etc. The animals are milked, either by hand or using machines. The milk is then preserved and converted into dairy products for commercial purposes. Besides, meat is considered the best source of protein. Hence, in dairy farming, a veterinarian inspects the animals regularly to ensure they are physically, mentally and socially healthy. Next is poultry farming in which birds, such as chicken, turkey, duck, geese, pigeon, etc. are domesticated for meat and eggs. Egg and meat are considered a rich source of protein. In addition, bird feces are used as soil manure. The birds are maintained in a disease-free environment, with utmost care focusing on sanitation and hygiene. Poultry provides employment, as well as increases farmers' standard of living. The third type is fish farming, otherwise called aquaculture or pisciculture, in which fish are raised in tanks and ponds, for commercial purposes. Fish, such as cod, salmon, catfish and tilapia, are rich in protein, are produced through two types of fish farming. One is the extensive farming that uses natural photosynthetic food for feeding the fishes. Whereas, the second type, intensive type involves provision of food to the fishes externally. This involves pellets, corn, soy, feather meal, etc. The final type is bee farming, called apiculture. This requires maintaining the bee colonies in man-made hives. Bees are domesticated for honey, wax and pollination on a large scale. Now, let us discuss the advantages of animal husbandry and the role of animal husbandry in human welfare. Animal husbandry employs farmers, and increases their standard of living. It enables crossbreeding to produce high-yielding breeds for milk, eggs, meat, etc. used by us. Besides, animal husbandry promotes proper disposal of animal waste to maintain a healthy environment. 
Further, controlled grazing by animals reduces the dry shrubs in wildfire-prone areas, thus reducing the risk of fire. The excreta, bone and blood of animals, can be used as manure to increase yield and production in agriculture. Also, animals are used as non-human labor for plowing, transportation, and even for military functions. Conclusion Animals have been an inevitable part of human life since the Neolithic period that began around 10,000 BCE. Through animal husbandry, animals like cattle, goats, sheep, pigs, etc. have been domesticated and used for food and other purposes. Nowadays, animals are being reared for pets and companionship. Hence, animal husbandry is playing a valuable role in human welfare and commercial development. Summary Animal husbandry is defined as care and management of animals involving selective breeding and livestock raising to improve the behavior and genetic qualities of animals to increase profit. Animal husbandry can be classified into four types, namely, dairy, poultry, fish and bee farming. Dairy farming involves methods for obtaining dairy products, such as milk, cheese, curd, butter, yogurt, cream, etc., involving animals, such as cows, buffaloes, goats, sheep, etc. Poultry farming involves domestication of birds, such as chicken, turkey, duck, geese, pigeon, etc. for meat and eggs. Fish farming, otherwise called aquaculture or pisciculture, in which fish are reared in tanks and ponds for commercial purposes. Bee farming called apiculture requires maintaining bee colonies in man-made hives for honey, wax, and pollination on a large scale. Animal husbandry employs farmers and increases their standard of living, enables crossbreeding, and proper disposal of animal waste.